Welcome to this tutorial video on how to assign materials to your simulation in the Treble Acoustic Simulation Suite. After you create your simulation, you will see the Materials Assigning menu on the right side of your screen. This is where the magic begins. This menu displays all the surfaces of your model that you imported from SketchUp as layers. Now it's time to give some life to your model by assigning materials to all the surfaces. You have two options. You can assign materials to a whole group of surface layers, or you can assign materials to individual objects by folding out the layer. To see which layers are selected, just look at the model view. The selected layers will be highlighted in red. You can also use the eye icon on the menu to hide or show layers. And of course you can zoom in and out to see them better. To find the right materials for your model, you can browse through our extensive material library. You can filter by categories such as gypsum or porous, or you can type in the name of the material in the search bar above. For each selected material, you can find the absorption coefficient at the bottom of the menu. When you find the material that you want, just click on Assign, and it will be applied to the selected surface layer. For this video, we have already assigned all the materials for our layers, but you can always change them later if you want. For each assigned material, you can also adjust the scattering coefficient value. Scattering represents the percentage of rays that will deviate from the path reflected. The higher the number, the more sound will scatter. To change the scattering coefficient, just click on the number in the scatter column and type a new value between 0 and 1. The value will be updated automatically. A good rule of thumb is to use a low scattering value between 0.05 and 1 for flat surfaces and a higher scattering value for larger furniture. This will make your simulation more realistic and accurate. One thing to keep in mind is that scattering only affects the results for the GA solver. Scattering will not affect the results for the wave-based solver. If you want more control over the scattering value per octave band in the simulation, you can click the dotted icon that pops up when you click the scattering value field. Here you can freely choose which scattering coefficient is used in each band in the GA simulation. We have more information on suggested values for scattering in our documentation. For each material, you can also view advanced information by clicking the info icon at the bottom. This will open a window with a description of the material, the default scattering value, the absorption coefficient, and the reflection coefficient. In the next video, I'll show you how to create your own material in the Treble Acoustics Simulation Suite. I'll see you then.